the first episode of Moon Knight has premiered with Ethan Hawke as the villainous Arthur Harrow serving Amuet. But who are they? This is Exasperating Nerd Explains. The Arthur Harrow in the Disney Plus show seemingly has no connection to the comic book character with the same name. He actually only had one appearance in the comics anyway, and instead of courting pain as a follower or avatar of Egyptian deities, he was in constant pain and experimented on people to find a cure to his own condition. And he started his work back in someplace called uh, Auschwitz. So yeah, based on the conversation Harrow, call me Arthur. Arthur has with Stephen Grant, gift shopologist. It sounds like he is an avatar for Amwit who was sealed away by her own avatar and other gods some time ago for wanting to cleanse the world of people she judges as bad. Likewise, Steven slash Mark is an avatar for Khonshu, fittingly the god of the moon, whose voice and form appeared briefly in the episode. Uh, the idiots in control. Emwe is an Egyptian deity that was part of the judgment process after death, primarily having the job of gobbling up anyone whose heart was not lighter than a feather. Much like Mark's power seems fully supernatural, Arthur here clearly has some powers as well, apparently the ability to judge people's hearts and even take away the life force of those judged to be bad. Even though the judging part is usually Anubis's job, it triggered you! But they're going with Amwe instead, who has appeared in Marvel Comics. She is typically depicted as being made up of three deadly animals in the Egyptian area, with the head of a crocodile, the midsection of a lion, and the hindquarters of a hippo. And this makes her a sphinx. And as you would expect from a sphinx, in the comics, she will give riddles to those seeking power or favor from her, and answering incorrectly means she will eat your mind. She has other magical or mystical powers as well, but has primarily appeared in smaller roles, having shown up in her fully beast form, as a lady, and as something in between for you furries. Given the fact that we have seen Shang-Chi fight alongside a dragon, having Amuet appear in full beast form is not out of the question, but if that happens, given a TV show budget, I think it would be pretty brief. More likely she will just show up as a lady whenever she is released. It's clear that Arthur and Mark are linked as avatars for Egyptian gods, and how they respond to the bidding of their benefactors will likely play a role in the series. I get the feeling Arthur will obey completely while the personality of Steven will start to question and may even begin to defy Khonshu and to doubt if their goals are aligned. However, only time will tell. But what do you think? Will we get a giant crocodile lion hippo thing? Or will she just be a lady? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this series will have any twists with the villains? Most of the other Disney Plus shows have so far. But let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye.